I can tell you this. The sunrises here never, they never get old. excited for this I would be lying I am so pumped to see this setup on this truck and yes there's an oil mass I did an oil change in the Ford and they have the drain plug facing straight out the back of the pan so it shot out on the floor a little bit first off what is going on guys welcome back to another video and uh, if you want to get pre-entered to win this beautiful holy grail 1998 12 valve short bed quad cab with the folding doors, five speed manual, plus $5,000 in cash. You can use the pre-entry special, which does expire on Thursday night. So you guys have like either 24 or 48 hours left and that's it to use the pre-entry 5K for 5,000 entries in early towards winning this truck plus the cash. So take advantage of that deal if you wanna get in early and get a buttload of entries. Early bird gets the worm, let's get onto the video. So guys, this truck currently is sitting on a stock set of 16 by probably seven and a halves or eights. Maybe, I don't know, one or the other, maybe 16 by nines, I don't know. But I'm pretty sure they're like seven and a half or eight inch wheels. And you can still have those. When you win the truck, if you still want those wheels, you can have those wheels that will go with it if you want them. But guys, we got a set of 16 by 12 Mickey Thompson Classic 3s. And also, they're wrapped in a Nitto Ridge Grappler. 285 75 R16, which comes out to basically 33 by like 11 and a half inches. I think the technical specs are like 32.8 inches tall and like 11.2 wide. It's gonna be really good looking. The truck is not leveled out. It is sitting on stock suspension. And from the research that I've done, this setup should mostly clear, okay? So for the most part, it should clear about 90% when you're turning the wheel side to side, but we're gonna obviously get to the final details and do our very scientific and strategic testing once we get these things on the truck. But we are gonna get these slapped on and see how it looks. I'm so freaking pumped for this. Gonna be trying to get this done within the next like hour and a half because the winner for that beautiful four door long bed, Ford sitting over there, is gonna be here around noon. So it's like 8.30 now. By the time I get this done, we film some shots, do a little bit of dramatic video with it. It'll be getting pretty close to that time. So let's get to it. Groove, staying motivated, teaching others what to do. I'm staying focused, my mind is open. They start to notice that I'm in motion. There is no potion, you're not just chosen. It takes devotion to stay composed, man. Never stop, never stop, there ain't no time to fuck Try to live, get it up, you got one life to pop Thinking big, never small, cause you gotta want it up When you finally get that cup, you get ready, take it up Need a handout, I already stand out Starting to advance now, ready to expand now You don't have a chance now, cause we're in demand now Make it by the grand now, feeling in command now To see if I succeed To see if I believe They're looking up to me They want the best of me now Best of me now Best of me now Best of me They want the best of me now Best of me now Best of me now Best of me
here's the setup for the truck. Never done this setup before. We've done Mickey Thompson's before. We've done like some pro comps and stuff, but we've never done a 16 by 12. We've done 12 wide wheels, but never a 16 by 12 wrapped in basically a 33 by 11 and a half. Thing looks sick. I already went over the wheel specs with you guys. They're Mickey Thompson Classic 3 and they're the Nitto Ridge Grapplers. And for everybody wanting the exact specs, they are a 285, 75, 16. And again, 16 by 12 with a, I think a four and a half inch back spacing on it is what it said on the listing. Looks pretty freaking good. I think it's gonna pretty well clear. clear I think it will. Good. There's a decent amount of room. Like if you come over here, try and show them like around the wheel well, like between the bumper and the tire and the fender back there in the tire, there's a pretty good, there's a pretty good gap. I mean, it's not like super tight in there, so I think it's going to clear. I think it will. I think it's going to clear pretty stinking good. So, let me show them around the back too, and I did put an exhaust tip on the truck because it just didn't have one, and I was like, you know what, I was on Amazon, I was ordering some stuff, I'm like, I'm going to buy an exhaust tip for the truck because it didn't have one, and it was already cut back to where somebody had one on there before, and then they took it off, but I think it just, uh, I think it really pops off that look. In fact, I gotta get another photo while I'm back here. Oh yeah, right. There. That's, that's the perfect shot right there. Anyways guys, thing looks freaking sick. So sick. You're gonna have to let me know down in the comment section below. Does this setup match the truck perfectly? I know there's a lot of comments about, you know, get rid of the fourth gym bumper, get rid of the chrome, too much chrome, get the chrome off the truck, but I wanted to wait for you guys to see it with the wheel and tire setup because that can determine the final look that you'd want to go for on this thing. And to be quite honest, if you're going to have chrome on the truck, this wheel and tire setup goes perfect to complement it to where, you know, you could color match it all and just have chrome wheels, but it just kind of ties together for the guys that do like the chrome on the truck. So we are going to do the clearance test. So I'm going to get in the truck, slowly roll forward a little bit, give it a little turn both directions and he's going to keep an eye. I'm going to try to peek out and keep an eye. We're going to see just how much turn we can get out of this or if it completely locks and doesn't do us any harm to the fenders. <laughs> From like an in-cab perspective, these tires and wheels on this thing ride so, so nice. And if you've seen the previous videos, I mentioned that we have to replace the manifold gaskets on this thing because they installed new ones, previous owner, but clearly there's still a small gasket leak. So easy fix, but just so you guys, just so you guys know why it has a little tick tick sound coming from the front. That's what that is. It's an easy fix, it takes about an hour. But yeah, these things ride so nice. And in terms of like driving capability, all your normal steering and stuff, totally nice. Doesn't ride all crazy. Wheel still stays straight when you let off. Feels good. Feels really good. So now we're gonna get you guys a couple of rollers. That was gonna be a wrap on the video. New wheels and tires on this truck. Anyways guys, when you enter to win this thing right now, you can use code pre-entry 5K and that was gonna get you 5,000 entries towards winning this truck, but that code does expire Thursday night on September 22nd. So 
Get that code, get in early, early bird gets the worm, get all those entries, unless you don't like worms. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know where I was going. <laughs> okay, anyway. <laughs> Just I'll see you in the next video. I'll well, show all of it. Get closer so, <laughs> so you don't make me look fat. Not that there would be a problem with that. I'm just saying. We got these Mickey Thompsons and we couldn't leave it like this. You guys, I already saw you think you were thinking it. You're going to go to the comments and say you're an idiot. You weren't going to put caps on the rear. Well, I am, but you couldn't. If you look at the spacing, the caps are like a quarter inch too short from touching the wheel because of the hub that comes off the rear axle. And the little screws that come with them are too short. So I took this to the hardware store. I got one with the same size head, thread pitch and everything. And I got it just about twice the length. And these things bottom out perfectly as soon as they snug up against the lip of the cap here. What do you know? We got caps.